Shopping online is as easy as it gets. Wouldn't it be great if hiring plumbers, carpenters, and even piano tuners were just as simple? Thanks to Angie's List, now it is. Start shopping online from a list of top-rated providers. Visit Angie'sList.com today. There it is. This is where I met your grandpa. Right under this tree. Some things are worth holding on to. They're hugging the tree. That's why we got a Subaru. Was it that tree? Introducing the all-new Subaru Outback. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Fact. When you take Advil, you get relief right at the site of pain. Wherever it is. Advil stops pain right where it starts. Relief doesn't get any better than this. Advil. Fact. Advil liquid gels are faster on tough pain than extra strength Tylenol. And not only faster, stronger too. Relief doesn't get any better than this. Advil. Available at Walmart. Everyone sees the same sky. But when we look up, we see something amazing. This fall, you've got to watch the Weather Channel mornings. It will all start with the weather. The weather's too important to cover in a few minutes. It's starting to intensify. Because it's not just about your forecast. Look at this. Listen to that. See the weather like never before. Amazing starts here. The Weather Channel mornings. Currently in our area, 73 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, sun and clouds mixed. High 77. Winds east northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy. Low. Wednesday, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 80. Winds east at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. What do astronauts eat? Have lunch with one and find out. Only at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Meet real astronauts, see Space Shuttle Atlantis, and experience firsthand the future of America's space exploration. Your adventurous side is waiting. Your relaxing side is calling. Your let's do it all side has arrived. And an unforgettable Disney vacation is all within your reach. And right now, you can create a seven-day package, including a select Walt Disney World Resort Hotel Room and theme park tickets for as little as $78 per person per day for a family of four. So come on, show your Disney side this year at the place where dreams come true. If you have Medicare Part D, you could be at the corner of I'm throwing away money and I had no idea. Well, Walgreens has your back. Our expert pharmacists make it easy for you to save on your prescriptions so you can keep your money where it belongs. Swing by Walgreens where you could save even more with Medicare prescription copays as low as zero dollars at the corner of Happy and Healthy. Hurry, there's a hot offer for heartburn sufferers. Now try Zantac free at ZantacOffers.com. Hurry, it's free this week only. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Get Zantac free at ZantacOffers.com. What does a 37 million horsepower launch feel like? Experience it for yourself. Only at City Furniture, every mattress we sell is covered by a 120-night security blanket. So you'll always know you got the best price on the best names in bedding. A Beauty Sleep Queen mattress set, just $4.99. Or buy a select Beauty Rest hybrid mattress and get the box spring free. Plus, enjoy same day delivery and no interest for 18 months. See for yourself in the showroom or at CityFurniture.com. Tigers exist in the wild today. 
Criminals are killing them for their skins and bones. We need to do something before it's too late. World Wildlife Fund works to protect wild tigers, but we can't do it without you. For just $8 a month, you can symbolically adopt a tiger, and you can help save them and other endangered species and their habitats. To adopt now, call us or go online to wwfnow.org and receive your free adoption kit as our way of saying thank you. Wild tiger numbers are at an all-time low. Please help save them now. The wildest weather ever caught on camera. Oh my God. Tonight, tomorrow night, every weeknight, wild weather at 8 on the Weather Channel. Almost 53 past the hour, close to 60,000 folks in Maine still without power following the weekend snowstorm. We're talking more than a foot of snow falling in Bangor, uh, weighing heavily on those tree limbs, and a lot of them still with leaves on them and snapping those power lines. Yeah, they got tattooed by Mother Nature. Look at that. Central Maine Power has more than 300 crews out right now working to restore that power. By Wednesday, they hope to restore service to 90% of customers affected by the storm. That's a tall water. That's a busy time. For yeah, and do we have more snow on tap for New England later in the week? Well, let's Let's check with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Tom Nizzle. Good morning, gentlemen. And you know, there is going to be more precipitation for New England. It looks like most of that is going to be in the form of rain, and that is good news. Let's take a look at where the cold air is locked up in North America right now. And really, it's way up north here. We're looking at places like Inuvik and Fairbanks, temperatures zero and minus four, respectively there. That air is going to stay locked up there for a good part of the week. Let me show you how the jet stream moves here. It stays right along the U.S.-Canadian border here. Cold air to the north, warm air to the south. As we get into the middle part of the week here, you'll see a little dip in the jet stream here going to bring some wintry conditions to the upper Great Lakes. And it's not till the end of the week that we get enough of a buckle in the jet stream here to produce some colder conditions once again across the northeastern U.S. Now that'll continue right into the weekend. The weather system that is going to bring the rain is coming out of the central, uh, central northern plains right now. And as it moves eastward, it is going to catch a lot of this moisture, some of it with tropical oil origin coming up the east coast but fortunately guys the temperatures that are cold enough to produce snow are staying locked up there in Canada and for the most part this system is going to be an all rainmaker for the east coast of the U.S. It's not until we get a lighter part of the weekend here that we'll get a little bit of snow up into northern Maine so let's put it all together and take a Excuse me, a quick look at the weather conditions. Wintry mix here tomorrow, and that is across the northern plains, upper Midwest. As we get into Thursday, just the upper Great Lakes, you can see the rest of this area too warm for snow. It's going to be a significant rain event. And as we get into Friday, we're going to need a little help from elevation to produce the snow here. So right along the Appalachians in through portions of the Allegheny here, we're going to see that wintry mix, a little bit of snow in upstate New York. Take a look at a place like my hometown here from Buffalo. We start out with relatively mild temperatures for this time of the year. And by the weekend, we're down into the 30s once again. So that's a look at the weather in the Northeast as we get into the latter part of the week. When I come back, we're going to uh, talk about what could be a major cool down for the eastern U.S. the beginning of next week. So I'll send it back to the dapper duo in New York, or as Ooh, Brandon, our producer, nice. just mentioned to me, maybe the dastardly duo? Figure it out. Maybe so. Maybe so. Wow. Either you know, way. Either yeah. way, we'll take it. I love uh, hearing him say, even if we're going to have rough weather, it's always better. Come. If he told us that we had ice scabies, it would be acceptable because it comes from Tom. It's gentle. It's easy. And it's acceptable. Now, As we told you earlier, yeah. the heavy wet snow for Main <laughs> Street Store left thousands without power. Some of these folks, though, took it in stride. I don't like them. They turned my heat off. <laughs> Are you um, worried this time around that there could be some? Uh, I don't think it'll be very long. Um, I got a wood stove if I need it. Um, but no, I don't like them, but they're a fact of life. There you go, fact of life indeed. Not this early, though. The yeah. unprecedented early season storm left some parts of Maine with almost two feet of snow. You know, the first Tuesday in November means it is election day. So let's go ahead and take a look at your forecast this morning. If you're headed to the polls, hopefully many of you are. Let's begin in parts of the Midwest, and you're going to see some showers in some parts of it moving into the Ohio Valley and Great Lakes. But drier air moves into Minneapolis. Great conditions there with plenty of sunshine. Now, we continue our way into Chicago. Cloudy skies can be expected. Temperatures going from those 50s. 
But notice by 7 p.m. we drop back to 48 degrees. That's Chicago for you. That's the Midwest. To the deep south, into Arkansas, we see the raindrops. Not the case in Charlotte, Atlanta, Orlando, New Orleans, or even Memphis. Memphis, by the way, staying with the clouds. No raindrops and temperatures mainly to the 50s, 60s, and 70s. For the northeast, my goodness, what a beautiful day in Boston, New York, going into the 50s and 60s. Bangor with partly cloudy skies in Philadelphia. They're going to be ringing in out by the Liberty Bell. A few clouds into the afternoon, but out these temperatures. Nice. Come you got to love their mayor's name, Nutter. I like That's it. That's a great name. <laughs> it's a good, good name. Coming up in the next hour, our business weather expert, Paul Walsh, will be stopping by to give us an inside look at how weather could actually affect some of these bigger races today. Indeed. And, and torrential rains cause rivers to rise in places like Peru, disturbing homes and actually affecting crops. Yeah, right. Coming up, we're going to have the latest from South America. And, of course, when you see flooding like that, you actually feel a little bit better about any bad weather we're talking about here. We'll have the details coming up. Currently in our area, 70 degrees under mostly cloudy. After a cold, snowy weekend, parts of the Northeast going to feel a lot better this morning. Just how toasty does it get? We've got details. And while well, it does appear to be nice in the east, things could get pretty soggy in parts of the Midwest, where you're going to see some showers that may interrupt your election plans on Tuesday. We can't wait for Tallahassee to decide what to do because our issues are so immediate. Florida is facing a battle that could literally divide the state. Why sea level rise could cause South Florida to push to become the 51st state? Right here, right now, as the power hour begins on Wake Up With Al. Live from New York and the heart of Rockefeller Center, it's Wake Up With Al with Al Roker and Stephanie Abrams. Top of the hour, top of the morning, Tuesday, November 4th, Election Day 2014. Welcome to Wake Up with Al Reynolds in for Stephanie, who's taking a little time off. Absolutely. Always good to be here, and we've got a busy morning as always. As Al mentioned, we're in New York. We know that you've got a lot on your plate today, so we want to get you out of the door, advised, prepared, ready to go. Everything top you three. need, your top three. Here we go. Starting it off as you head out the door. Maybe you're going to go out and do a little early voting. And remember, it's not Chicago. Don't vote early or often. Uh, rather rainy, but helpful. Just kidding. I have a lot of friends in Chicago. Uh, we're looking at a lot of heavy rain. I mean, look at this. West Texas, three to five inches, but as you make your way into the Mississippi River Valley, one to two inches, not unusual. It's going to be nice here in the east, staying dry and warm. Look at these temperatures. I mean, going to get up to 80 in Tampa, Memphis, 73, Raleigh, partly cloudy, 69, New York City, 65 and sunny. And in the Midwest, as Reynolds talked about, we've got another cool shot of wet, rainy, wet weather. St. Louis, shot hours this morning, 57. Detroit by the afternoon, 56. Duluth, some clouds and a temperature of 40, Reynolds. All right, Al, thanks so much. All right, let's set you up with a great shot that we have for you this morning with the heavy rainfall. We're talking Oklahoma. It's going to be moving into much of the drought-ridden south. Oklahoma! As the yeah. wind comes. There you go. The That's right. Well, they're going to be getting wind and they're going to be getting rain. Rain's going to be the biggest issue. Good in some ways, bad in others. The Oklahoma City forecast is going to involve the heavy rainfall, but uh, at times it is going to be dreary. Roadways could be kind of slick out there. 
Be careful, especially along parts of the feeder bands going into parts of I-35 downtown. We'll take a look at this feeding in, all the tropical moisture. You've got the upper level dynamics, this area of low pressure. The jet stream is going to play a part. And that weird squiggly line, that's your frontal boundary. And that frontal boundary is going to sweep through Tulsa, back through Oklahoma City, even into Wichita Falls. We zoom in towards Dallas, where in Fort Worth and in Dallas, things are pretty quiet. But if you're making the drive westbound along parts of 20, you get into Abilene, you get the rain showers. Go farther west over towards, say, the, the Davis and Apache Mountains, having rainfall. And that's going to continue to make its way eastward. Got the moisture, you got the front, you've got the rain. And it's going to stick around through the early morning hours on Wednesday. And notice it's going to keep on going through Arkansas into Memphis, out by Beale Street, eventually into Jackson and even into Vicksburg. Well, take a look at this. It's going to be Rainsburg for a lot of people across the deep south and southern plains. Heavy rain, thunderstorms, delays. Yeah, probably at, at many locations, including Atlanta, where it seems like you can have a little spits in the drizzle and you're going to have some backups at, at uh, Hartsfield Jackson. At Panama City, might have some raindrops coming through as you pick up your airbrush T-shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then take a look in Raleigh. It's a chance of scattered showers, too. Al, you like airbrush? Who doesn't? Hey, there Who you go. Who doesn't? Let me tell you. Get some good airbrush T-shirts down in Times Square. Get a few other things as well. But uh, in the meantime, we've got some nice weather to talk about. 24-hour temperature changes. I mean, look at this. Binghamton, 11 degree change today. 15 degrees warmer than it was yesterday. New York City, 16 degrees warmer. Even Boston, 9 degrees warmer. The one exception, Bangor, 12 degree temperature difference. Highs today in the Northeast. Still a little on the cool side as you get up into the north, in New, northern New England. But New York City, 65, 70 in Charleston. Buffalo looking good, 61 degrees. Tomorrow, cooler air starts to make its way in from the west. Buffalo, 53, 55. Pittsburgh, Burlington, 54, but right along the coast, not so bad. Here comes the change, though. Jetstream takes a dip. Watch those temperatures finally start to fall, and we're going to be averaging 5 to 15 degrees below average, shuffling off to Buffalo. 61, our high average, 52, but look at Friday, 39 degrees. That's going to leave a mark. Maybe an airbrushed sweatshirt of like <laughs> a cat nice. or something. You Might have that going. Nice. You got the cat's meow. Hey, speaking of the cat's meow, here's the cat's meow with the top weather headlines. This that's morning. right. Three, news headlines. That's right. Three college students happy to be back in their dorms after they got stranded on a cliff during a snowstorm. That's frightening. And it happened at North Maroon Peak. It's about 10 miles outside of Aspen, Colorado. The trio used a personal location beacon to send out a distress signal just before sunset on Sunday. But the problem was snow so heavy, helicopter out of question. Instead, rescuers repelled the cliff and pulled the climbers to safety one by one. That is terrifying. By Monday, parts of the mountains had received over a foot of snowfall. Wow. Thank goodness they are all, they're all safe now. Well, let's head to Peru. Torrential rains leaving more than 100 people homeless in central Peru. Hours of rain causing rivers to overflow their banks. A lot of residents had no choice but to wade through waist-high water that was full of who knows what just to get to safety. Oh, that is scary. But so was this. The rain also destroyed nearly 3,000 acres of crops. A number of roads were also blocked by landslides. Authorities are in the process of sending aid to all the affected areas. And now there's a lot of places to cover. All right, well, you got to check this one out. Watch this. It's a time lapse of a dam being removed in Washington State, one of two to be demolished on the Elwha River this year. You know, at the turn of the century, the 20th century, technology allowed people to harness the power of America's rivers by building dams to generate electricity. But in the last 20 years, more than 800 50 dams have been demolished, and the reason really for the demolishing varies from state to state, but the primary goal is environmental. That's right, here in Washington State, effort was to bring back the salmon population, promote wildlife, and then regrow vegetation. As a fly fisherman, that makes me ecstatic. That's that is great. a wonderful thing to see. That's fantastic. Hey, you know who's a great catch? <laughs> it's good. I, I think he is, Mark Elliott. Should we cast over to him in seven day? Was that let's lame? Do, let's do that. For the day ahead? Yeah, oh, Mark. let's do that. You know, sometimes it always feels like you're swimming upstream, no matter uh, who tosses it to you, right, Reynolds? You know, here across the southeast, the past couple of mornings, you started out with temperatures near the freezing line. None of that today. Suddenly, winds have kicked in. You are really going to feel that warmth. A big change in the pattern, and that's a, a welcome change across the south here. Most of us climbing well into the 70s as we go through the day with a lot of sunshine as well. Jacksonville, you're included on that. You'll jump up up to the mid 70s today. In fact, most of the afternoon in those low to mid 70s here across the northern tier, though, we are waiting for our next big batch of cool air. This is kind of in between the storm systems and by the weekend. Our next blast of cold air returns. Guys, back to you.
And it almost smells, sounds like bacon. But listen to the crackling as the lava flow meets a pond in Hawaii. Lava bacon, I think we're on to something here. Hey, this is the start of the same flow, part of the same flow, threatening the town of Pahoa. The lava can reach temperatures of about 2,100 degrees, Al. Amazing. Oh, man, uh, lava flow stalling, standing about 500 feet from the main road in and out of town. We've got more looking at climate change when we come back, how it affects the Sunshine State. See you. Ring, ring. Progresso. It's okay that your soup tastes like my homemade. It's our slow simmered vegetables and tender white meat chicken. Apology accepted. I'm watching you, soup people. Make it Progresso or make it yourself. Mr. Clean's grandmother was stronger than people twice her size, and that strength inspired his liquid muscle cleaner. It lifts tough dirt so you do less scrubbing, and its nozzle stops by itself so less is wasted. Sure made grandma proud. Mr. Clean Liquid Muscle. While we may never know exactly what the weather has in store, one thing we do know is how to be ready for it. Rain-X Original Treatment repels rain, sleet, and snow. Rain-X Wiper Blades clear the windshield without streaking. Together, they give you the confidence to weather any kind of weather. Rain-X, outsmart the elements. The wildest weather ever caught on camera. Oh my God. Tonight, tomorrow night, every weeknight, wild weather at 8 on the Weather Channel. See the weather like never before. Look at this. Listen to that. Amazing starts here. The Weather Channel mornings. Currently in our area, 73 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, sun and clouds mixed. High 77. Winds east northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy. Low 71. Winds east northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Wednesday, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 80. Winds east at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Every Monday night this fall. What is it that produces these things? The Weather Channel unlocks the secrets of the earth. The all-new season continues Monday night at 9 on the Weather Channel. Let's get a head start on the holidays. Let's open something before Christmas. Not that. Those. And, of course, a whole lot of these. Let's make merry, along with a few other things. Deck out that. Save all these and spread more of this. That's how to holiday. Let's do this. More saving. More doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. 100 count clear or multicolor incandescent lights, just $2.50. Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. It's Ram commercial truck season. And if you want to build something ahead of its time, you'll need trucks that are ahead of the rest. Trucks with the best fuel economy, 28 MPG highway. The best towing, 30,000 pounds. Best torque, 865 pound feet. And the best payload, over 4,400 pounds. The complete lineup of Ram commercial vehicles is ready to help you start building tomorrow. Get a great deal during Ram commercial truck season. Coming up on 11 minutes past the hour, welcome back to Wake Up Without. I want to head to South Florida, where lawmakers, they say, the debate over sea level rise could literally divide their state. It's a very hot topic. There's no denying that. And it's one that could literally sp split the Sunshine State into two states. We're talking North and South Florida. Sounds far-fetched, but as Maria La Rosa reports, one leader says it's the only way to quickly address climate issues ahead. 
Miami is at the front line of climate change, with sea level rise threatening South Florida beaches and property. The king tide brought an extra foot of water onto these streets earlier this month, and scientists project waters will rise another two feet in the next 40 years. It's happening on a much faster level than anybody had ever anticipated. The danger is driving community leaders to drastic action, splitting Florida into two states. Walter Harris, the vice mayor of South Miami, says his city isn't just battling the rising waves, but state lawmakers, who he says aren't doing enough to address climate change. We have to take control of our own situation. Uh, we can't wait for Tallahassee to decide what to do because our issues are so immediate. His proposal? Create a new state, South Florida. He wants 24 counties to break away and form a 51st state. From Orlando south to the Keys, it would include 13 million people, more than half of Florida's population. Harris says if you want to understand Florida's different priorities, just look at the elevation. North Florida um, average height of above sea level is 120 feet. Most of South Florida is five feet or less above sea level. There's no way that uh, Florida is going to split apart over this issue. I also don't think in the larger sense that uh, geography is really the problem that uh, this uh, mayor is talking about. While there is criticism of the proposal, some Florida politicians are addressing it with humor. Republican Senate President Don Getz tells the Weather Channel, quote, I would consider supporting the proposal as long as we can keep Disney and they have to take Charlie Crist. Harris's resolution passed the city commission earlier this month, and he hopes more communities will face the new reality. There are no coasts as dangerously exposed as South Florida. This is an issue that can't be ignored. Maria La Rosa, the Weather Channel. Well, the resolution now moves on to 24 counties in the proposed South Florida. But as we all know, breaking yes, up is hard to it do. Is. It, it is. still lacks the backing of Florida lawmakers and U.S. Congress. And good luck getting anything done out of the U.S. Congress. Absolutely. You know, we're going to get something done. Yes. We're, we're going to pass an, an amendment right now to send it over to Mark Elliott. All right. You think so? Yeah. Boom. The yeas have it. Yeah, and uh, guys, I'll take that. And no matter, no matter which Florida you live in, we want to get you through the next couple of days here. And uh, temperatures across the south warming up. Subtly winds are cranking. So you're really going to feel that change in the weather pattern until our next cold front comes into play. And our next cold front is indeed moving its way across the country, racing its way towards the eastern seaboard by the time we get to Thursday. So Atlanta, you get back into the rain. New York and Boston raining Thursday. A little bit of lake enhancement Thursday into Friday. You will see that cold wind going over the relatively warm waters of the lakes. So some lake effect snow not out of the question. As we move our way into the weekend, we actually will be looking for the next batch of cold air to come into play across the northern tier. Guys, back to you. All right, my friend, heavy rains could prove a heavy player at the roll polls this election day. Yeah, and that could impact some of the nation's tightest races from Arkansas to Louisiana and even into Iowa. We're going to talk more about that with our business expert coming up. Andrew, Rita, Sandy, meet Chris, Jackie, Joe, minor damage or major disaster, when you need us most, we're there, State Farm, we're a force of nature too. You thought you knew the penguins of Madagascar. You didn't see anything. But that was just the tip of the iceberg. Where are we going? How should I know? Live on the flipping frozen tundra. From DreamWorks Animation comes the untold story. Welcome to the North Wind, an elite undercover task force dedicated to helping animals who can't help themselves. Mm. Of four brothers who would become the penguins of Madagascar. Give us the good. That's a baby squid. Sorry, laddie. <laughs> Rated PG, November 26th. Progresso. I can't believe I'm eating bacon and rich creamy cheese before my sister's wedding. Well, it's only 100 calories, so you'll be ready for that dress. Uh-huh. You don't love the dress? I love my sister. 40 flavors, 100 calories or less. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
Introducing the entirely new Hyundai Sonata. One drive, and you'll get it. Once there was a girl who snooze buttoned her morning run away. One cap of downy created such irresistibly soft sheets, she wanted to stay in bed forever. Downy, surround yourself with three times the softening. Sunday nights, the Weather Channel unravels nature's darkest secrets. Every Sunday, a new tale of weather legend. It may have just looked like a storm. Welcome back to QVC. Here's a great gift idea. It's perfect for that person on your list who loves to bake. In fact, it's a must have in my kitchen when I get together with my niece and nephew and we make sweet treats for Santa and all of his reindeer. <laughs> Hey, Matt, what's up? I'm just looking over the company bills. Is that what we pay for internet? Yep, DSL's about 90 bucks a month. That's funny, for that price with Comcast Business, I think you get like 50 megabits. Wow, that's fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Personally, I prefer slow internet. There is something about the sweet, meditative glow of a loading website. Don't listen to the naysayer. Switch to Comcast Business today and get 50 megabits per second for $89.95. Comcast Business, built for business. Nine nine. That's eight hundred six seven five zero two nine nine. Eight hundred six seven five zero two nine nine. Every Monday night this fall. What is it that produces these things? The Weather Channel unlocks the secrets of the Earth. The all-new season continues Monday night at 9 on the Weather Channel. Stay tuned for your local on the 8th. Brought to you by L.L. Bean. 100% satisfaction guaranteed and free shipping every day. Making jackets that are built to perform anywhere is hard work. On the LL Bean, we take our job very seriously. Guaranteed quality, no matter what you're up against. From LL Bean. the hour. Welcome back to Wake Up With Al. That means it's time to bring our winter weather expert, Tom Nizzle. You know, he's in the lab. I think he lives there. Yeah. I think he's there all the time. And, and he's, uh, Tom, you're actually keeping your eye on the tropics and how those could actually affect Alaska later this week. It's a very fascinating setup that we have here, guys. The weather around the hemisphere is tied together. There's no separate entities. One system in one part of the world will have an impact on what goes on in another part. Let's take a look at this example here. This is Typhoon Nuri. Nuri is going to be moving northward very quickly as it weakens and moves into the northern latitudes here over the next couple of days. And as it does so, it's going to combine with energy from a winter storm system in Russia. And that is going to end up off the Kamchatka Peninsula here. Here's the Aleutian Islands right here of Alaska. As a result of that energy, it develops this massive, powerful storm system going to produce tremendous waves, a lot of wind across Alaska. But it could have an impact on what happens downstream in the U.S. next week. The jury's still out on exactly how this will take 
place. But our conditions for next week show another blast of cold air moving down into the eastern U.S. That cold air will continue in that Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. We take a look at our temperatures here. Five uh, below our normals for Chicago as we get into that Monday time frame. But look at we're looking at 15 degrees colder than normal in St. Louis. And as we get into Wednesday, temperatures as much as 15 to 20 degrees colder than normal across the Appalachians. Just one more blast of cold air out of Canada. We're getting toward winter, guys, and this is the connection we see to tropical systems. We'll send it back over to you. That is really cool. Tom, thank you so much. Well, as we've been telling you, it's election day. Time for millions of us to head to the polls, cast our ballots in a wide variety of races. Oh, you're right about that. One of them is control of the U.S. Senate. Uh, that's one of the national headline races this morning, where many of the races out were actually neck and neck. So we want to take a look at the forecast and how the weather could really play a part. That's why we've got our business weather expert, Paul Walsh, joining us live from Atlanta. So, Paul, you want to start off in Arkansas first. How come? Well, because Arkansas is where the weather is going to be the worst today. And of course, as you noted, today it's all about the ground game, and the ground game is really all about the weather. And we know that when the weather is bad, that undecided voters generally stay home. And in Arkansas, it looks like the weather is going to be wet and nasty, and we think that that will actually shave off some of the electorate, which actually benefits a Republican candidate down in Louisiana. Well, in Louisiana, they, oh, they do have a chance of severe weather there today. That's right. Yeah, exactly. So that's all, that is also all knotted up, and I would expect that the weather could have an influence, not as big as in, as in Arkansas, but it definitely will have an influence on the overall turnout, which could lead to a runoff, actually, in Louisiana. Yeah, in fact, it seems like, Paul, a lot of these races are really in that too-close-to-call category, including Kentucky, where you got Mitch McConnell trying to hold on to his seat. How about weather there? That's right, Alan. And in Kentucky, we're also looking for some weather, although it won't, there won't be as much bad weather in Kentucky as there will be in Arkansas, so it'll have less of a play in terms of suppressing the Democratic vote, but it will still be a headwind for the Dem Democratic candidate in Kentucky. Okay, Paul, from, from the Bluegrass to the Tar Heel State, North Carolina, we've got Senator Kay Hagan. She's running against businessman Tom Ellis. The weather is yeah. looking pretty good there. What, what are the odds that, that Hagan actually keeps her seat? Well, what happens when the weather is nice, it just it, it no longer becomes a factor. So that, that doesn't necessarily help the Democratic candidate. I'm sure they're going to be working very hard to get their ground game out. So overall, I think it will benefit her. And I think she's leading in the polls, so I think that will only help. And again, another tight one in Iowa. Uh, forecast not too exciting there. What does that mean? Yeah, it, it means that the weather is not going to be a factor. It's all about the ground game, and it's all about the organizations on the ground getting people out to vote. But weather won't be a factor in Iowa. And, and right there in Georgia, Paul, uh, there's a real tight Senate race between uh, uh, Sam Nunn's daughter and and, uh, and uh, Sonny Perdue's uh, grandson, I that, think. That's right. And uh, also here in Georgia, the weather's beautiful. It won't be an impact. So it's all about the ground game. Nothing I can't reach in my Subaru. Introducing the all-new Subaru Outback. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. I like to mix things up a bit with Grand's Mini Pot Pies. Only four ingredients and a few easy steps. Weeknight dinner in a flash, and my family devours them. Pillsbury Grand's Biscuits make dinner pop. You get sick, you can't breathe through your nose. Suddenly, you're a mouth breather. Well, put on a Breathe Right strip and instantly open your nose up to 38% more than cold medicines alone. So you can breathe and sleep. Shut your mouth and sleep right. Breathe right. Oh, oh look at that. Look, Dad, a blowfish. Oh, honey, where's your mother? Uh... Disney side. And the best place to show it ba, 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 ba. is Disney Parks. So come to the place where the entire family can laugh, let loose, and play together. Disney Parks. Come on, it's time to show your Disney side.
years ago, we thought, wow, how is there no way to tell the good from the bad? So we gave people the power of the review. And now Angie's List is revolutionizing local service again. You can easily buy and schedule services from top-rated providers. Conveniently stay up to date on progress and effortlessly turn your photos into finished projects with our SnapFix app. Visit Angie'sList.com today. We're new to the Pacific Northwest. The rain, the mud, but bam, it's there. The outside comes in. It's a Swiffer wet jet. Oh, I love this. I could do this every day. Ugh. Sunshine is overrated. Now we can get messy. For most people, earning cash back ends here at the purchase. But there's a new card in town. Introducing the City Double Cash Card. It lets you earn cash back when you buy and again as you pay. That's cash back twice. It's cash back with a side of cash back. The City Double Cash Card. The only card that lets you earn cash back twice on every purchase. With 1% when you buy and 1% as you pay. With two ways to earn, it makes a lot of other cards seem one-sided. Bridgestone's new drive guard tires are engineered to take a puncture and go up to 50 miles. We can drive 50 miles on a flat, and you have an app that makes nails pop up? Yep. We could rule the world. <laughs> but I've got carpool at three, though, so oh, that time. we could, like, mess with the world. The wildest weather ever caught on camera. Oh, my God. Tonight. Tomorrow night. Every weeknight. Wild weather at 8 on the Weather Channel. See the weather like never before. Look at this. Listen to that. Amazing starts here. The Weather Channel Mornings. Currently in our area, 73 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, sun and clouds mixed. High 77. Winds east northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy, low. Wednesday, sunshine and clouds mixed. High, 80. Winds east at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Monday night this fall. What is it that produces these things? The Weather Channel unlocks the secrets of the earth. The all-new season continues Monday night at 9 on the Weather Channel. As we continue on Wake Up Without, parts of the Northeast getting a welcome surprise this morning. How about a nice warm-up? It's a nice change of pace after what we got over the weekend. Absolutely. That'll put some yaddle in your throttle. And if you're in the Midwest, prepare to get a little wet because many of you will get hit with showers on your election Tuesday. But how long are they going to stick around? And the Plain States get in on the rainy mess, too. A line of heavy rain and storms. We're tracking it across the region. When does it arrive at your doorstep? We'll let you know as the power hour of Wake Up Without rolls on. Live from New York and the heart of Rockefeller Center, it's Wake Up With Al with Al Roker and Stephanie Abrams. Good morning, everybody. 30 minutes past the hour, Tuesday, November 4th, Election Day 2014. Reynolds Wolf hanging in here for Stephanie Abrams. Always good to be here, good man. And we've got uh, quite a morning for a lot of people. Not only do we have some incredible news stories, but obviously weather. A big story today, too. <laughs> Let's get it started with today's top three. I hate when that happens. i got to stop getting those mail-order dentures. Hey, rather rainy, but helpful, <laughs> especially down through Texas. Bad drought, but this this is going to help a little bit. A little, every little bit helps. Three to five inches west Texas, one to two as you get into the Gulf. It's going to be nice here in the east. Look at these temperatures. It's going to be 79 in Houston, Tampa 80, Raleigh 69, New York, New York, the city so nice, they named it twice, 65 degrees. And more wet weather in the upper Midwest. Duluth, some clouds and 40 degrees. Chicago clouds and 55. Showers in Detroit, Reynolds, by the afternoon, 56. There you go. Well, you know, I'm going to pick up where you left off. 
off. We're going to stay on the theme of talking about the rainfall by showing you not the Texas duo, but the Texas 2 Heavy rainfall headed to parts of the plains, including the Lone Star State. So you've got Houston on one side, Dallas on the other. Both places, radar is going to be very active. It's going to light up like a Christmas tree. And the present is going to be a lot of raindrops. Not so bad right now where you have temperatures near 70 in one spot. We might have some rain cooled air in there and certainly damp times ahead as we see these changes. Houston. Do we have problems? Well, we certainly could as we get into the evening and by the time Wednesday comes around, a chance of thunderstorms. Notice the temperatures going from those 70s back into the 60s in those spots. Here's the troublemaker. You've got a split flow in the jet stream. That trough is going to move through, interacting with this area of low pressure, that frontal boundary. And do we have moisture from the Gulf of Mexico? Well, that Kermit the Frog green that you saw there definitely is going to be the thing. And it is not easy being green in Lawton or even in Wichita or Ardmore. Scattered showers coming through, heavier activity out towards the west, and all of that is going to just pull its way towards the east. Rain makes that sound. I knew that. There you go. I knew and that. <laughs> notice we go through the morning hours, and then by the afternoon, many of you may be going to the polls at that point when you head off work. Well, you're going to be heading into those scattered showers along 35. Texas Hill Country in Austin, Marble Falls might have some heavy rainfall there. San Antonio and over towards Galveston, Orange, Texas, you're going to have maybe not orange-sized raindrops, but still steady stuff and heavy rain that's going to spill up to Little Rock, Nashville, Alexandria, Louisiana, maybe even into the French Quarter before the day is out. And then there's Thursday. Thursday, we see that may, that wave of rainfall continue to march its way off towards the east. Raleigh, Research Triangle being affected. Nashville, you're going to be in the clear, but that won't be the case where you're in Atlanta, maybe Birmingham, Montgomery, or Panama City. North, you go up to the Great Lakes, it's all going to be rain now. All right, well, we're here until that day. We've got some nice weather today. Look Look at the temperature change in the last 24 hours. We popped up 11 degrees for a high today in Binghamton, 11 degrees warmer than yesterday, 17 degrees warmer in Pittsburgh. You look at that southerly flow of air, you can see why that's happening. Banger though, those winds coming out of the north, they're going to have a 12 degree drop from yesterday. So highs today in Bangor only getting up to about 56 to 55 degrees, Boston 58, New York City 65, Charleston looking good, 70 degrees as we move on into tomorrow. Tomorrow, look at this again. Temperatures in the 60s along the coast, low 70s, but the cooler air is starting to make its way into western New York and PA. Why? Jet stream will be dipping. That's going to bring temperatures down anywhere from 5 to 15 degrees below average. For example, New York, here, look at this. Average high 58. Today and tomorrow, we're at 65, still above average. Same for Thursday, but then bam, 54 Friday. By Saturday, we're struggling to get out of the upper 40s. Upper 40s, goodness gracious. Well, if we make our way a little bit farther to the west, in Chicago this morning. We've got a live image for you where we have light showers that are moving into the Chicago area. A little wet as people move to the polls. That's right. Lauren Petty from our affiliate WMAQ has the impacts weather could play in Illinois' big races. Hi, Alan Reynolds. I'm Lauren Petty here at a polling place in Lincoln Park, which is one of our many neighborhoods in Chicago. And I have to say, it's not bad out here this morning. Temperatures are actually pretty good. They're in the upper 50s right now. A little bit breezy, but right now it is dry. There are some sprinkles that are moving through the area. But our meteorologist assures me that they're going to be moving through rather quickly. So voter turnout should not be impacted, which is a good thing considering we have a big governor's race here in Illinois that a lot of the nation is going to be watching very closely. So again, pretty mild temperatures today, which is what we can ask for on Election Day. We'll send it back to you. Lauren Petty from WMAQ, thank you so much. Okay, you know, it's not time to snooze, it's time for news. That's right, and then we've got Francis Rivera from MSNBC with the headlines. Yeah, Hi, Francis. glad to bring it to you this morning, Alan Reynolds. Good to be with you. Well, this morning, a frightening scene caught on camera. A Philadelphia nurse fighting back as she is kidnapped off a sidewalk, and now her family is making a desperate plea for her return. It happened Sunday night. A witness told police that she was screaming for help and even kicked out a passenger side window as the car she was forced into sped off. Police found her glasses and cell phone on the street and they also found a knife and glove nearby. Millions of voters are heading to the polls this morning. Just a reminder, if you don't already know, it is election day. Republicans are hoping that huge voter turnout will help them take back the Senate. They need six seats to take control. At least 16.4 million people have already voted in person or by mail. In all, voters will cast ballots for 36 senators, all 435 members of the House of Representatives, and 36 governors. Among those voters, this 102-year-old woman who is casting her ballot for the first time ever. She immigrated from Mexico in the 1980s and just became a U.S. citizen last year. So here's what she told NBC. She said, quote, I may be old, 
but I am one more voice. So if you are at home right now saying, you know, eh, you know, not not sure if I'm feeling it, this is your inspiration right now. Just hope she doesn't have to carry an umbrella. Right? And by the way, she looks amazing. Does she? 102. Wow. 102 never looked so good. All right, Francis. Thanks so much. Thank you. For a guy who looks great for 60, let's head it over to Mark Elliott in Atlanta. Mark, you look fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's uh, it's because my hair never moves around in the weather. It's that's uh, one of the advantages, right? You know, temperatures here very nice, really warming up over the next couple of days. Subtly winds cranking up out ahead of our next cold front. So if you've been kind of tired of these really chilly mornings across the south, this is the change you've been waiting for. We can take a look at uh, Raleigh and see these temperatures really climbing. You'll top out near 70, almost 10 degrees warmer than where we were just a day ago. And it's not the only area that we've seen warmth. This is our next cold front coming in. So the Ohio Valley will see the subtly winds and the warm up while behind this front, you see that wind shift again and the northerly breezes kick in. Of course, there will be some showers. Try not to use that as an excuse is not to vote today. It's just some light rain moving in across the Ohio Valley later on today. Minneapolis, you're behind this front. You top out in the low 50s. Much of the day, though, spent below that range along with those northerly breezes and the northeast corridor well out ahead of this next cold front. So you'll see the subtly winds and the warmth as we go through the day. Guys, back to you. Mark, thanks so much. Stand by. You got to see this video, Mark, and everybody else. Come to your TV. We all love penguins, right? They're considered a smart species. So don't tell them if they've recently been fooled by a little robot. Talk about happy feet. They got happy wheels. In fact, emperor penguins notoriously shy. Team of scientists figured out a way to spy on them in the Antarctic. They disguised a four-wheel robot as a penguin. They put a little penguin top on top of this. Okay, they're going to show that in just a second. We got, <laughs> we got the, the penguin. They, because, see, they don't like it when it's just wheels. Unbelievable. But yeah. then they put a, a robot, a, like a dummy penguin, on top of that. Eventually, I think we'll see that. Yeah. Maybe. You know, penguins, I know they're smart, but they do eat their food pre-chewed. The babies do anyway. That's right. So that tells you, that yeah. kind of lays the groundwork for you right there. It just, just puts the template see, Eventually, they got, they wised up and put a penguin robot on. That video is not, is a... Uh, but uh, yeah, there you go. All righty. Heck of a story. Okay. Grand story. Hey, you like magic? We got magic for you coming up. The magic and weather when we come back. Can we make a penguin appear? Currently in our area, 73 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, sun and clouds mixed, high 77, winds east-northeast at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 71, winds east-northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Wednesday, sunshine and clouds mixed, high 80, winds east at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Yo-shitsu. Reliability is now an American thing. Introducing the all-new Chrysler 200, America's import. What are you doing? The dishes are clean. Just got to scrape the rest of the food off them. Ew. Dish issues? Cascade Platinum powers through your toughest messes better than the competition the first time. Cascade, now that's clean. Freshening, cooling crystals, icebreakers. Old El Paso frozen entrees in freezers near you. 
Now, Centrum Silver has a new easy-to-swallow coating. So the nutrients for your eyes, heart, and brain go down easier. For a limited time, get your $4 coupon at Centrum.com. Let's get a head start on the holidays. Let's open something before Christmas. Not that. Those. And, of course, a whole lot of these. Let's make merry, along with a few other things. Deck out that. Save all these and spread more of this. That's how to holiday. Let's do this. More saving. More doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. 100-count clear or multicolor incandescent lights, just $2.50. Don't let a severe cold hold you back. Sir? Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu. Serious power. While we may never know exactly what the weather has in store, one thing we do know is how to be ready for it. Rain-X Original Treatment repels rain, sleet, and snow. Rain-X Wiper Blades clear the windshield without streaking. Together, they give you the confidence to weather any kind of weather. Rain-X. Outsmart the elements. Wolves. The tireless hunters of the wild and the wild ancestors of your dog. They share many traits, like a love for meat. So Blue Wilderness has more of the chicken, duck, or salmon your dog desires. Try Blue Wilderness, because he's wild inside. Experience the wolf den and feel the wild come alive, exclusively at PetSmart, where you'll find the largest selection of Blue Wilderness. PetSmart, where it really is wild inside. Coming up on 43 past the hour, got a rainy start in Chicago. Man, it is going to be kind of a rainy day there, kind of troubling for people trying to go out to the polls. I mean, if you're determined to vote, you're going to vote. But take a look, most of the showers now moving out over towards South Bend, headed for Michigan, some of those farther back into the Corn Belt too, Al. As you time it out, then it continues on the morning, heading toward Cleveland, Ohio. St. Louis gets in on the action, as does Cincinnati, pushing on through, making its way into western New York and PA as well. Yeah, that's reality, guys. Not, not an illusion, but there is a new group of illusionists that are heading to Broadway. One piece of magic that got our attention is the future weather forecast. Here predicting the next year's weather forecast is Adam Trent from the show The Illusionists. Witness the impossible. Adam, good to see you. Good to see you. All Thanks right. for having good me. Good to see you, So we, we really want to get right to the illusion uh, yes. and see if you can predict the weather next year. So how do you do this? Well, so uh, as, as weathermen, obviously you make predictions about the weather. Right. And as magicians, uh, we make predictions about weather. Well, not about weather, but in this case, uh, I have a prediction balloon right here, uh -huh. and I have uh, amply titled a weather balloon. All right. A weather balloon. Very good. Um, Al, let me ask you uh, a series of questions here. Okay. Um, I want you to name any city in the U.S. Uh, uh, New York City. New York City. Yes. New York. Uh, on this day next year, I'm just going to do this. On this day next year, uh, what will the temperature be? Oh, gosh. Just make a guess. Uh, I'm, uh, th on this day, yeah. I would say uh, uh, 55. 55 degrees. 55 degrees. 55 degrees. And uh, uh, if you had to guess, it was going to be sunny, rainy, freezing, 